Hello, so hi, um, my name is Marissa and so I wanted to do a haul video for just to show and like talk about the some of the things that I've gotten since quarantine has started. So it consists of like clothing, accessories, and a couple other random things. So yeah. I'm gonna start with the clothing first. So I had been wanting to get um, some bras from this brand for a while yeah so the brand that I'm talking about is ARK A -R -Q. I got two bras from them the first time and then my second order I got another bra and a tank two of the bras so well these are the three colors that I got and these two are just the I think these are just like the regular bras and then the blue one is the full coverage bra and I got large for all of them yeah so yeah I was pretty I was really happy with the first two that I got so that's why I decided to order again I was less into the full coverage bra than the regular bra just because this one comes like really high up to my armpit which was kind of uncomfortable and the other one goes lower so it just depends on what you prefer but I feel like the beige tan color that I got is fits like a little more tight than this yellow one even though they're like the same cut um, so I don't know if it's just in my mind fits pretty decently um, I do have like a larger chest usually I wear like an F cup um, yeah and my waist I don't know what my waist is but I think I did just go by the size chart or actually I might have sized down just because of my waist size didn't really fit with like the extra large but the my actual like cup size did so I don't know I don't remember but the large is okay I probably could do an extra large but then I don't know how it'll fit around the waist part so yeah yeah they're pretty comfortable and do what I want it just depends on the mood I'm in though because sometimes I don't like this kind of a bra because it pushes my boobs together and that's annoying so there's like this other brand that I like their bras Pansy which if you've heard of ARC you've probably heard of Pansy before too and theirs are like a tri triangular shape and it's just like anyway theirs is like cut differently like triangle shape kind of like more traditional not really like sporty like this cut is and those are good for like my boobs will just be there and but this one kind of like pushes them together so but this one i feel fine like wearing around the house with my family around um well actually i feel fine in in both cuts so i guess it doesn't really matter but this is covers more so if you care about that then well but it covers more but then it gives you more cleavage so i don't know anyway that's those are the bras that i bought and then I really like this pattern that they had so I bought the tank of this I don't even remember what the pattern's called but yeah it's just like a little crop tank and I got I got a large in this too I might have been able to probably get an extra large because I does I do feel like it kind of squeezes around my underarm area but I've only worn it a couple of times okay and then the next clothing item I'm really excited about so i just found out about this brand like during quarantine and i like became obsessed with their styles and stuff so i even started following like um a secondhand shop that somebody runs on instagram for their pieces although i hardly i hardly ever see like large and extra large posted on that page which is kind of annoying so anyway the brand is doen and their instagram is shop doen and I actually didn't buy this off their website, I bought it off Net-A-Porter. But it's this super cute mini dress and it's 100% silk and it's not that short on me because I'm 5'3 so I'm already short so it's actually really perfect. I do like mini dresses and that length though so it works for me. Um, but yeah, it's just like this super cute, really feminine, frilly like dainty kind of vintage looking mini dress and it's really comfortable too 
the material feels really good so since i got this on net reporter and they were also having a sale on this so i got it like 50 percent off which is really good because I th it was probably almost like 300 dollars like regular price and so i got it for like 160 dollars which i think is really good brand new and i got a size large i believe yeah i got a large and it fits really good but yeah i'm just like super happy that I was actually able to buy myself one of these dresses and I do like want some more stuff from them but they're really pricey for my price range um, but I'm starting to want to like spend more money on things that I actually really like and that will last if I take care of them properly and that are like good quality and like that are sustainably and ethic ethically made so I'm trying to like really not buy from like fast fashion brands and there's actually like something really weird that I kind of like been going through in terms of like buying clothes and stuff which might be something that I could talk about on its own but basically like yeah, actually being an adult now and having to like buy my own things and like with the amount of money I make, I don't make a lot of money. So I really, I don't buy a lot of clothes at all really the past like five years. So like the money is, a, is one part of it. But another part of it, unfortunately, is that like, it's like body image related. So like I have gained weight over the past five years and with that like for some reason, well not for some reason because like I have like internalized fat phobia and like self-hatred body wise I felt like I, w I wouldn't allow myself to buy clothes because I didn't like my body and I anticipated not liking how I was gonna look in those clothes anyway so I was like why am I gonna waste my money on that and that's a pretty shitty mindset to have unfortunately and and I was like aware that it's like shitty that I'm thinking that way that combined with not even having a lot of money to spend on things that I like anyway, even for fast fashion brands and stuff like that. And like even for the thrift store sometimes. It just resulted in me not really buying a lot of things. But I've been trying to like really fight that that mindset and not let my self image and body image and weight and appearance dictate like me letting myself buy clothes that I like for myself but I still have the issue of like money that's kind of like been happening at the same time that I'm like realizing that I want to invest in like I said sustainable ethical pieces that are good quality so yeah it's just like this convergence of all these different factors and these clothes are the result of that so yeah okay and then I got this super cute t-shirt um, from this artist who I really love her work um, and I've been following her for a while and like I have wanted to buy shirts from her before but like when I saw this one I was like okay this is the shirt that I want so yeah so it's a super cute Animal Crossing shirt, but she did the Animal Crossing characters in her own style, which I really love. And yeah, it's really soft too. So another thing that I've been wanting more of is t-shirts. So yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to get this t-shirt because she's actually sold out now. But I'll still link her shop down below because she always puts like, not always, but often she'll update her shop and put out like different prints and t-shirts. So yeah. And then I actually ordered another shirt, but I don't have it with me right now because it was a pre-order. Um, but it's a really cool shirt and I'll insert a picture. And the cool thing about that shirt was that the profits were being donated. So I'm really excited for when that shirt comes also. Okay, and then kind of like switching to like accessories and stuff. So I did a video on this thing. It is something that I did buy during quarantine, so I'm going to include it in this video. But... It's this Bagu fanny pack and this is another thing that I had really been wanting and I allowed myself to get it and it's been really great. I've been using it basically like every day so yeah it's comfortable, convenient, cute, yeah. For masks 
I did order a pack of five masks from Chrissy Dawn. So just some like cute cotton masks with like floral prints on them. And I like that they're like lightweight too. So and the last accessory that I got is actually this scrunchie that I'm wearing in my hair right now. And these are really popular. They've been popular for a while, I feel, but um yeah, it's from Room so Room Shop Vintage. And I remember I first saw it um, through Joanna Spicer. And when she first mentioned them, I like really wanted them. But for some reason, I was just like, well, because I didn't feel like it was, I could justify buying it. But I've been wanting it still this whole time. So I finally decided to let myself get one. Yeah, and I love it. I'm really happy that I got it. Especially two, which is kind of dumb, but I feel like when I'm on like Zoom meetings or and I'm hot, like I want to have my well, even not like when you're in an online meeting, but just like in real life. When I'm hot, I just want my hair back, but I don't really like how I look like that. So when I put it back and I wear this scrunchie, I feel cute. So yeah. So this is actually one of the things that I bought first um, in the quarantine, but it's these it's these nail polishes by. Death Valley Nails so she's like an independent maker who she like makes these by hand in small batches um, and then these two were really cool because this one is actually made from including pigments that she ground up herself of pink clay from um, Tucson Arizona and then this one is so this is definitely like not vegan but this one's actually made up from ground up cattle bone so it's like supposed to be a, a natural glitter and like the bone that she sourced she sourced from a small farm that is local to her that like has really good practices and treats their cattle really humanely so you know the bones weren't being used anyway so she was able to get bones from there and ground them up grind them up and turn it into like a brown speckled nail polish. I haven't used them that much just because I kind of suck at painting my nails like and they kind of grow fast even though they're not strong they do grow fast so it kind of looks ugly often so I want to buy her she has a nail polish remover that's like acetone free so I want to buy that because like when it grows out I would want to redo it but I don't want to put that much acetone or like nail polish remover on my nails so if I buy hers Hopefully that will help. Okay, and then this is something that I got like this week and that I was also really excited about and had wanted for a while. Um, but it's from the brand Wooden Spoon Herbs and it's a tincture. So this one consists of rose, holy basil, milky oats, hawthorn. Yeah, those are like the main ingredients. And then the other, there's only three more ingredients. It's just essence of mimosa, glycerin, and distilled water and it says that they're all organic so yeah holy basil and oats are really good for a lot of things in your body such as like your nervous system and emotional regulation so this formula is called um, rose colored glasses because it's supposed to just like help boost your daily mood and I really like that it has rose because I love rose flavored things although when I got it when I tasted it it's not as strong of a rose flavor as I wanted it to be but it's still good and I've only used it for a couple days so I can't really say like if it's actually giving me a mood boost but I really use herbs in my daily life so this is gonna be good too because like there are days where I don't want to like brew even though it's not that much work, but I don't want to like boil water, clean my container, and like do another batch of an infusion. So something like this is good to just have on hand where it's already made for me. And I could just like incorporate it into a drink or something. But it does taste good. Even though it's not as potent as I was imagining, it, it does add a good flavor. And their packaging is super cute.
yeah they have other stuff that i want to try but um yeah okay so it's getting down to like the last few things so i talked about this book in like my first vlog that i tried making and i was reading it on the libby app for free through the library but i just wanted to have it anyway because i wanted to be able to reread it conveniently and it's also i have a problem reading on on my phone like yeah it just hurts my eyes and my head so i thought it would be better to just buy a physical copy so it's this book how to do nothing i haven't finished it yet i'm a little more than halfway through but yeah just this is one of the books that i got yeah so that's pretty much everything for my haul video i did make donations um over these past few months to a few different um to a few different organizations and like via like venmo and paypal so i'm gonna link some different spots below that you could donate to that's pretty much it and thank you so much for watching bye